Hey guys, Chip Hawthorne here with Main Street Mower. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the new Toro Time Cutter with a 34 inch fab deck with the Kohler engine. Stay tuned as I mow this beautiful quarter acre lot with some lush St. Augustine. This is a fantastic little mower, stay tuned. Let's watch and learn about this beast. A few weeks ago, we had that backyard video that we posted about Toro's backyard mower options. And one of the options we talked about was the 34 inch Fab Deck Time Cutter. It's the model number 75734. And this is it right here. It's 34 inches wide. It has an 11 gauge Fab Deck, so fabricated deck. It's a thicker steel deck. And it's a time cutter that we love. It has hydro gear pumps. It has unusually large 22 horsepower Kohler engine in it, which is amazing for 34 inches. They used to make this mower a few years ago, but they only put the single cylinder 16 horse on it. And now they decided to upgrade it in a lot of different ways. Now it has the 22 horse Kohler on it, it has a rubber discharge chute. It's just a little bit different, it's a little bit beefier. And we have it here today on a quarter acre lot on a corner yard. And we're gonna try it. We're gonna mow with this thing. We're gonna cut this grass and see how this does. So guys, who would this mower be intended for? And I think Tor obviously intended it for the homeowner, for a person like this who owns a house that is gonna be mowing their own grass and with a push mower, it might take them an hour and a half and they wanna cut that time way down to you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And I think this would be a perfect mower for a quarter acre corner lot like this one is. Uh, I think it would be great for bigger lots too. And I think a landscaper could also justify using this on their trailer as a backup backyard mower. So we're gonna sh kind of show it in its natural domain and what maybe it was intended for. And you can let your imagination run wild and what a machine like this can do with such a powerful engine and such a thick deck uh, and so well built. So I did not bring a good string trimmer with me. And so uh, it's not gonna be the best finished product. This is my friend's lawn. He let me use it. and so. We're gonna, we're gonna just cut the grass, basically. I'm gonna give him a little cut job, and he's gonna come back and trim it all up. But we're gonna see how this thing does. This yard is hilly, and it's wet, and it's very thick St. Augustine. Right now, the grass is averaging, I mean, if I were to puck, pick one of these pieces, I mean, that's pretty big grass. We're gonna be taking it down as low, you know, almost cutting it in half. We're gonna be removing about four inches, five inches of grass. We get the chance to see how powerful this mower is and how nice of a cut it's gonna have, because this is pretty much pure St. Augustine. He's been maintaining it with a Toro Super Recycler and just uh, has gotten behind and I was like, hey, I can come mow it, I need to do a video. So we get the pleasure. Join me for mowing this dense St. Augustine lawn, see how this does, stay tuned, watch the cut of this thing. I think it's pretty darn impressive. The new Toro 34 inch Fab Deck with the Kohler, come on. Guys, I just mowed with this 34 inch time cutter and you know, I gotta say, I'm very impressed. And that grass was growing, I'm talking, it was fierce out there. We tried to get out there early in the morning to mow, we didn't get out there until about noon, hottest time of the day, and it was pretty brutal. We did not bring a weed eater, we did not bring an edger, I did not bring a blower. Big mistake, if you're looking for a really nice finished product to show somebody on YouTube, I recommend bringing all those if you are into making mower videos. But at the end of the day, I wanted to rate this mower and how it did just cutting grass. How did it cope with a pretty serious slope? I think Toro says uh, a safe slope degree is like 15 degrees. I'm pretty sure that yard was every bit of that. It was steep in the front, had like some really steep bits around that tree. It was steep in the back. It was wet, it had muddy portions. And I was worried how this zero turn was gonna hold up on that slope because it has a little bit smaller tires than usual. This mower has 18 six by eights. Um, rather than a normal 42 inch, it has 18 seven and a half by eights. This has six by eights. 
so it's a little bit skinnier of a tire and that means less traction as you know and I'm a big guy and I'm on a slope so I was wondering how this thing was going to cope with that and to be honest it did fantastic these tires have a really rigid exterior on the tire they're very straight it looks like Bart Simpson's head this tire yeah eat my shorts but man has a nice sidewall so I think it does a good job hanging on on that edge and it did a fantastic job that floor tam St. Augustine was as thick as St. Augustine gets very lush very thick it was uh, it held nothing back and this little 22 horse you heard it just take it and it was kicking it out it was like Ricky Bobby out there it didn't care it was sending out grass in masses and it did a good job of dispersing it that was about as tough of a condition as a landscaper sees on like normal yards rather than like some big overgrown thing but like as far as reasonable grass to cut this thing was taking it like a champ it was acting like a commercial mower even though it comes with a homeowner price tag i think that's pretty cool and don't get me wrong this is absolutely a homeowner mower if you're a commercial guy it only comes with a 90-day warranty if you're a homeowner it comes with a three-year warranty i love this little mower and frame combo and i see him hold up a very long time and I think they're a fantastic buy. I'm glad I got to go out there today and really put it through its paces. I tried it on slope. I got to try it all kinds of rounds and it did fantastic. That yard was really tricky. I didn't do it perfect. I could have done a better job. Ideally, I would have stayed further away from the sidewalk and I would have came in there and trimmed all that. But I was trying to get as much as I could with this mower because I didn't bring any accessories with me. I didn't bring a trimmer or an edger or anything like that. So I was trying to make it look half decent with what I had. Um, and I think for the product, the finished product for what I was using, it did a fantastic job. Very impressed with this little mower. It's strong, it's heavy duty, and it's light. I went to a person's house today. I was covering up for a delivery guy. We offer pickup and delivery. When we, if you buy a mower from us, we deliver them to him. A customer of ours bought one of these uh, as per our recommendation. He lived across town. I went and picked it up today for its first oil change and blade sharpen, and I got to interview him. I didn't have the camera with me. I interviewed him, I said, hey, how do you like your 34 inch? And he had nothing but raving reviews for this mower. I mean, I know you're thinking, Chip, of course you're gonna recommend this mower, you sell them. But like, this is a third party guy, he's using it for his house, he's mowing three other yards with it, and he loved it. He highly recommends it. I asked him, like, would you recommend this to your friend? He's like, oh, absolutely, I love this mower. So take it from this man, take it from me. I got to use one. I think they're a fantastic little machine. And I think you guys will really appreciate it and like it. So whether you're a homeowner and you're looking for a nice 34 inch, oh, I forgot to mention, he had this thing parked in his garage with two cars. He had it in front of his other car between his house and his garage or his car. So this thing's small, compact, that fit in his garage. Like that's really cool. That's something special about this 34 inch. Anyway, guys, so if you're interested in buying a 34 inch, you need something compact, maybe you can fit in your garage, you're looking for something small in your trailer, something that can do a couple of those backyards for you. Um, this is a good way to save some money. It's a good machine. I think it's going to hold up for you, and I really think it's a fantastic product. Guys, check out the 75734 Time Cutter 34 inch if you're interested in a nice, small, compact backyard mower. Guys, if you like this video, please like this channel. It really helps us out, and, and stay tuned for future content like this. We have a lot of things on our channel where we review and compare. I think you'd really be entertained and learn a lot about all kinds of mowers and what makes them good and what makes them bad like this video it helps it go further it helps push our channel guys we really appreciate you if you like this video please leave a comment say hey great job guys love that it encourages us helps us keep wanting to make videos for you we really appreciate you guys i hope you have a great day and if you're in orlando and you need a lawnmower or anywhere in central florida come see chip at main street mower or my brother Stu. we'd love to help you out and bring one to your house come on thanks for watching see ya